hello viewers welcome back to our channel in this video we are going to be learning pgp message types okay so there are four types of messages available in pgp those are open message update message notifications and keep alive okay so we are going to be seeing every each message deeply okay now the tcp socket has been established here you can see the tcp sin packet then synac and rack so tcp connection established because pgp uses tcp port 190 sorry 179 tcp port 179 here you can see the destination port which is a transmission control protocol destination port 179 and also here you can see the ip header source ip and destination ip they are unicast so pgp uses unicast pgp does not use multicast like ospf uses 224.0.0.5 and 6 and rip uses 224.0.0.9 and egrv 224.0.0.10 so uh, pgp uses unicast instead of multicast okay so here you can see the tcp connection is established between two pgp speakers so they are now connected via tcp connection okay now we have to establish what pgp connection now we have established tcp connection next pgp connection so to establish pgp connection open messages are used so to establish pgp connection so now we are going to see the informations information available in the open message so i'm going to open it a little bit wider okay here here you can see here are the information here are the information version 4 so pgp version because the version should be same on the both side both sides of pgp version should be matching okay next my autonomous system one likewise the pios autonomous system should be the same next hold time which is 1000 seconds so 1000 seconds hold time so this is the time that the pgp speakers can wait for without hearing keep alive so 1000 seconds this pgp speaker peer can wait without hearing it keep alive next pgp identifier this is to identify pgp peers okay next optional parameters these are optional parameters these are capability optional parameters these are capabilities multi protocol extensions so these are the information we have to learn it should be given some importance next we are going to be learning next packet message type is update message next message type update message and we can see this update message has few information has i think it has no information so i'm going to open another update message okay i'm going to open this update message let's see here we can see the message type update message type 2 next withdrawn routes zero so that is no withdrawn routes so withdrawn routes represents the routes withdrawn from the autonomous system from the network next total attribute length 43 okay so total attributes here you can see the path attributes the way pgp selects the path using the attributes okay so uh, likewise uh, ospf uses cost rip uses hop count and egrp uses k values likewise pgp uses path attributes so there are uh, two types of path attributes available now first one is well known attributes 
and second one is optional attributes that we will cover that in a, another video okay so these are the path attributes used to do, to calculate the shortest path next another information network layer reachability information let's see whether this yeah here you can see uh, in this update matrix siege you can see here you can see the network layer reachability information here you can see the network and the network length prefix and the length subnet mask so it is to share the new network which means 1.2.0.0 slash 24 is just being updated on the internet so network layer reachability information mm, informs the peers that it has a new update okay so new updates so withdrawn routes to withdraw routes from pgp network layer reachability information is used to update routes okay now the next one is notification. So for notification, I'm going to open here where you can see the notification. See the notification is message is used to terminate or reject PGP connection and for error reporting. So PGP notification messages are used to reject or terminate PGP connection and for error reporting. Here you can see the type notification message type three and major error code. So error code two means open message error. Oh, message code one means, one means header problem. A message code three means update message. So and minor error code represents um, the issue okay, inside the message. Okay, so major code uh, tells the information error. Okay, so both are uh, informing the errors, but the minor code represents the exact error. Here you can see bad peer autonomous system. So here bad peer autonomous system. So autonomous system number mismatch. So so to find errors. So for error reporting and reject and terminate PGP connection, PGP notification messages are used. Okay, so here you can see. After the notification error, we come down here. You can see we are terminating the connection. Here you can see we are terminating the connection. Finac, then ACK again, Finac and ACK because autonomous system mismatch. So TCP connection is terminated. So for error reporting, notification messages are used. Then keep alive. Keep alive are pretty simple. Keep alive are sent to keep the PGP session alive. So these messages are uh, probably sent every 60 seconds. So in Cisco, in Cisco devices, um, keep alive are sent every 60 seconds. Okay, so every 60 seconds, PGP speakers send keep alive. You can see the keep alive. Here you can see. The keep alive from 1.2 to 1.1 and the replay from the 1.1 to 1.2. So to finish to to maintain the PGP connection alive. So key, PGP keep alive messages are sent. So these are the four types of PGP messages and the informations uh, that are available in the PGP messages. Okay. Well, okay. Thanks for watching the video. And um, please, if you like the video, please do like and share. Okay, thank you so much. Bye-bye. See you later.